Welcome back. Glad you all could be here. Sorry about the drops. I'm gonna call after the stream and hopefully get a get somebody out here to fix my modem. Because I think it has actually a modem problem. I think it's just old. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on Discord and see how everybody's been. Uh, Only yeah. fucking deal is gonna be that I come back after that. Right. Uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a problem with ReZero too. Like it's good and. Uh, Rem is like the best character of all time ever. I love her so much. But it's really not that good. <laughs> like, yeah. he doesn't change in every episode, is actually just the same. Yeah, that would annoy me. I hate it when a main character doesn't fucking either man up or when he just kind of stays the same piece of shit that he is. Yeah, like, he doesn't even try to get better. That's my problem with it. Yeah, like, if you were fucking immortal, you know what I would do? Try to fucking be better so that I don't have to keep on fucking dying to activate my goddamn power. Seems good. Anyways, we should uh, get back to this game. Hello, hi. Hey, Hello. fucker. So, uh, you were currently waylaid by some harpies. So, Cree. You will be the acting commander unit for these for this uh, skirmish, real quick. Um, right. And uh, everybody else can obviously join in on their their own initiative, which uh, is a thing that you should not roll for yet, but you should roll for now. <laughs> also, real quick, where is Dane in relative to the map? Uh, n not not here. <laughs> like not yeah, here. maybe here ish. <laughs> like where? Uh, like, you know, maybe somewhere up there. Okay, is not, there any chance of, not, like... Not within reasonable using range. No, no, I know. I was just making sure, because I wanted to see how far away the, um... Those guys were relative to the map. I don't want to spend my time fighting these guys if it means that I wouldn't be able to fight the Norse command. Oh, I mean, like, it would take you guys travel time to get over there. Hold on. Uh, creatures. What do I have these under? And my curse has come back. Harpies. They didn't roll great. I miss Dave and his insane initiative. Oh. Um, so I totally forgot uh, one of my class perks gives me advantage on initiative. If it's in your favorite terrain. Uh, it, yes. Are cities uh, your favorite terrain? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah. I, if, if you had to call it a terrain, it's probably uh, uh, suburb. <laughs> or plains, maybe, if you, if you wanted to go more broad. It, it actually just says I have an initiative on roll, or advantage on initiative. Uh, oh, that, might, that might be, yeah, one of those um, special things. Yeah. Uh, these are also your horsemen that you're going to be fighting with. Uh, let me let me let me go ahead and make it there. There. there Twenty it is. <laughs> All right. So let me get these guys on the charts. Humanoid. They rolled. They rolled better. Okay, so for everyone involved in this, Farron, you're the first to react from the inside of the house or the inside of the the inn. What's your initial reaction when you hear there are harpies in the tents? Oh God, gotta make sure Morella doesn't go dying by herself. <laughs> so full on, just sprint to find Morella. Pretty much, yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> So obviously you can't make it into combat like immediately in this round, but you can uh, you can perform a perception check if you would like to try and spot Morella. Uh, yes. I mean, okay. Roll it up. I'm a. I am also a level two rogue, so I can now run super duper fast. Uh, perception. Perception. Yes, please. 
Nice. Yeah, I think a 20 is good enough. So, Morella, how does Farron see you disembarking from the walls on the way to the battlefield? Uh, obviously, the only way to do it by going over the wall type of deal. Because, okay. like, the so wall is, like, how big? Yeah, I mean, it's probably 10, 15 feet high. Not yeah. much higher than, the like, a first-story building. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. I think she just um, hopped down and... Make me laugh. make me a, an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay, well... Basically, don't roll a one. Okay. Gonna roll athletics. It will shorten your amount of time to get into battle. Yeah, 24 is totally fine. So you you, you see Morella, like you run out of the house fair and you see Morella along the um, the top of the wall and you just see her jump over the side of it. <laughs> and then you lose sight of her. Was there any action besides dash that you would like to take? <laughs> Regret is a free action. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um... So, Cree, however, you are in the thick of things, sir. Uh, the harpies are descending and swarming upon you and your men. Um, what is the action you would like to take? So, of course, I'm going to uh, pull out the special lance. As, you're going you're to uh, pull out the lance of Chotek? I am pulling out the lance of Chotek. Okay. And things are kicking off. Uh, and I'm going to cast Daylight on my lance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, in a sixty-foot radius sphere, light spreads from the point you choose within range on your lance. And I just yell out to my troops, "Pull out the bows! Bring them down!" Sure. Okay. Fantastic. Sounds great. Uh, so the men do justly that. They will pull out their bows, and they will start beginning to bring them down. Uh, they get two attacks, so. Awesome. These are good men. Oh, shit. They, bring it out there. They have, done, they have done quite a bit of damage. Um, and with my, new, with my new math involved here, it's going to not be, you know. Cluttered. <laughs> it's it's going to hopefully not be. Uh, Asterisk. Uh, take forever. <laughs> okay. You were close there, though. Um. Yeah. So. You see creatures. The creatures begin to fall, um, at a very rapid rate out of the sky, uh, and some of them are coming down and coming down on tents and like collapsing them inward. Um, you seem to be dealing a hefty amount of damage to them with the bows. Um. Yeah, and their 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 numbers appear to be thinning out. You see feathers flying in every direction, and all kinds of craziness going on. Uh, and that's their turn. Arkady, what is your reaction when this man comes bursting in, and you see Farron tear out of the room? Uh, yeah, I don't think he's got any specific advice that he can offer in this case. So he is also going to tear out and. Uh, try to assess the situation because this suggests that despite the blunt instrument nature of the Norse when uh, someone tactical is plotting things. It's possible. This is definitely a possibility. Um, so... Uh, so it's going to take you at least one turn, even with your, your quick roguelike feet, to mm -hmm. kind of get within range. Um, but So my question is, where do you want to position yourself? Um, you can definitely, like, be on the walls. You could kind of, you know, kind of go weave through the tents and kind of be hidden. Um, you can do kind of whatever you feel is best in this scenario. Because basically in the middle of the middle of the encampment, so they're within within shooting reach of, like, the walls. But, uh... But... And that might keep you removed from harm, but... You may get better shots if you're more accurately up close and all that other fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 
I think he's gonna follow Farron to start with because I'm guessing that you're headed for Morella and yeah. that will be a place on the walls where we can get a better sense of the situation in general. He might move back into uh, thicker harpy country after that. Okay, yeah. So you and Farron are kind of running alongside together. You're you're a little bit faster if you take your bonus action dash, but you can basically keep he's, pace. He's with got him. the same. Yeah. Um. Cool. Awesome. Uh, is Both there running around at the speed of sound? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> and Indeed. thus, Sonic and Knuckles were born. And, and thus, <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles were born. Um, <laughs> the real question is, who's Tails? Uh, or Amy, for that matter. Amy doesn't matter. Morella? <laughs> oh, true. Uh, Morella could be Amy. Um, I'm sure she'd be the Knuckles of anything. <laughs> So I don't know. Have you seen Amy's hammer? Yeah, no. Amy's a badass man. Um, I played way too much Sonic Adventure Two Battle for those that don't care. Uh, <laughs> so fantastic, anyway. Aelin, What is your reaction being inside of the? Yeah, my initial thought is the panic of the non-soldiers uh, and how they not only might get in a way, get in the way, excuse me, in their panic, but also uh, might not know what to do in terms of a harpy attack. Yeah. So uh, her immediate reaction is to go towards the tents that she knows that the quote unquote common folk are and make yeah. sure that they are okay. They did not, they, they certainly did not uh, put this out in the manual of how not to die. Yeah, in I, a, I think uh, they left that part out, yeah. so... Okay, cool, yeah, so you, you immediately make a beeline with Daniela with you. Um, so you may come upon, like, the fringe elements of the harpies, but probably won't be in the thick of things, uh, and you'll be assisting with that. And, again, it's going to take you at least one turn to get over there, so you dash. Um, and, again, these rounds are more than six seconds, right? These are these are rounds that last for a minute, maybe even 30 minutes, right, based on the movement and all of what's going on. Um so. Um, and I assume Danielle comes with me. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. Sorry. Oh, okay, sorry, I hit missed that. All right, cool. Um, so, the harpies begin swooping down upon your men, uh, Kree. And your men are not the knights with the extravagant amounts of armor. Uh, the harpies find probably a bit better pickings this round, but let's see just how good. Um, so they also get two attacks... Uh, one with their claws and one with their clubs that they're carrying. Ooh, well, that first one, or that second one, the clubs are, are, uh, are, are a near miss. But the deal is, since we're dealing with, like, hundreds of units in combat at a time, basically that just reduces the, a miss reduces the damage that's going to be dealt. Um, so, how much health do all of your guys have individually? They have... 41, not bad. All right. So some of the men begin to fall off their horses. Take some minor losses. Uh, and then the second attack takes another, takes another life, or approximately 10 lives, quote unquote. So definitely not dealing as much damage as you guys were to them. Um, and actually, you know what? I should I should show you... I should actually... You, you should be able to see their health as well in this instance to kind of get an estimate of numbers. So I'll make sure to do that for all of them as well. Um, so yeah, that kind of concludes their turn. Uh, Noct. Noct can begin biting at things that come too close um, if he so chooses. No, he's actually just going to move down the line, um, and if any harpies are, like, on the ground clawing people, he's going to try and help out as he moves. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that's happening. Or, yeah. like, harpies that have been shot in the wings are probably fighting on foot, too. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Like, that's totally a thing that's happening, too. Harpies that have been, like, defeathered, right? Or, like, yeah. injured but still fight-worthy. That's totally something he can he can go for. Gotcha. Oh, nom, yeah. Nom. Oh, yeah. Freaking nailed him. So that is that is for sure going to hit somebody. 
Yeah. So Noct begin like takes one of the harpies and like rips its head off, and then takes another one and snaps it down the middle and shakes it and tosses it, which it lands into a third harpy that kind of tumbles and impales itself. Because um, <laughs> again, these are these are, you know, much much more than just individuals that are fighting here. Um, but you know, the impact of one of you is not meant to take down entire hordes of things. So on the grand scale, it looks awesome. Uh, Hannibal, what are you going to do? I'm going to run out. I'm going to get into the thick of it to fight. Okay. Um, and are you going to use any spells to get there, or are you going to take one turn to move into range? I'm going to just take one turn to move in range. Okay, so yeah, so you're you're probably slightly behind Farron and Arkady because they're like lightning, right? They're mm -hmm. bursting speed. Um, so you're slightly behind them. You and Aelin are probably right aligned with each other, right? Um, so, yeah. Cool. You got any cool artifacts for me? Uh, never mind. Show me later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm waiting for that. Uh, which brings us back to the, <laughs> the top of the order. Um, so, Farron, you kind of burst out of the gate, right? Um, which is probably open. You burst out of the gate, and you can see the tents. They're within range of, like, you know, shooting or anything like that now, but you can see, like, the harpies kind of swarming in this... Mm, this cloud of feathers and claws. Um, you can see men being, like, flung around. Um, but you see the, the like, arrows flying out as well, impaling, and a lot of harpies being brought down. Um, but from, like, the distance that you're at, it's hard to judge who's winning or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so it's also probably a little early to figure that out. Harpies yes. could get lucky. So, why don't I help out, uh, the fellow soldiers okay. by giving them a big fat target. So. Yeah, target. cool, awesome. Um, so I'm going to make a wisdom save. It will affect more or less based on their pass or fail. Uh, it, obviously not all of them will, will succeed, but it may give the soldiers some advantages. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay, so they fail miserably. Um, yeah, so you catch, like, a... You see, like, a flock that was, like, had, like, landed and were, like, you know, dumping stuff over or maybe, like, tearing apart a, um, a soldier or something. And uh, you see them and they burst in the air and you catch, like, the maximum spray of them. Um, and so not it's not only that... It's not necessarily that they fell to the fairy fire and easier to hit down. It's not that they all glow... And so they're kind of lighting up the sky with targets, right? Like, their dim glow around them lights up others around them. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I, I would say that uh, attack rolls have advantage against them for, you know, at least a couple of rounds while that is all going on. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Well done. Uh, Morella, you're, you're a little bit ahead of Farron. You can get up there in the thick of things if you'd like. Obviously, I would like to get in the thick of things. Okay, excellent. Uh, would that take my action? No, 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 no. So, so again, in these big combats, we're not playing exactly with the action order. Besides the fact that you can like use an action, but just right. describe to me what you're going to do. I was asking whether I had to use a dash no. action. No, 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 no. That was your that. last turn. Okay. All right. So, probably. Uh, I would say as she, like she's like getting up to the thick of things that she's actually firing a couple rounds of arrows. So like she's running, okay. running. So yeah, you as you as you're like approaching, you want to shoot with your bow. That's totally thing yep. you can do. Shoot away. Damn straight. So first attack. Kapow. Second attack. Kapow. There we go. 11's actually technically a hit on these things. They don't have very good um, uh, things, but you also have advantage on them because of the fairy fire. Uh, so yeah, you're just you're just f shooting arrows, flinging them, um, and you see, cr like, it's hard to tell in the night, but you see creatures dropping in the general vicinity of where you're firing arrows, and you're at least being effective, um, taking down quite a few of them, I believe. I ain't no master archer, but I know my way around a bow or two. So, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, fantastic. Cree, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, I'm just gonna start stabbing the herpes with my lance. My bright lightning lance. It's gonna be great. You haven't used this weapon yet, right? No, I have not. Okay. Oh, I don't even have the damage dice. Whoops. It's good stuff. Hmm. And of course, Noct, uh, Noct also takes a nice long swing with his tail. Um, so, Kree. Yes. When you um, when you go to stab at a creature, uh, and the lance makes contact, you notice a piercing light that shoots through the form that you stabbed and flies off, and you notice it shear off a wing of another harpy as that harpy falls to the ground. Not 100% sure what happened, but it's not your daylight spell. No. No, it is not. It looks like just like a pure beam of light. Have to take this into account for uh, my next attacks. Indeed. Um, and then the one that falls... Noct catches it and just crushes it in his mouth. Or he, he bats it like a like a fucking sorry, I used the tail, not the bite. Uh he bats it like a like fucking Mark McGuire and just flies <laughs> into infinity, never to be seen again. Uh anything else from you, Cree? No, that is it. Alright. Short. These guys are going to attack, and now that there's more of them on the ground, their mounts also get to attack. Which I have to actually pull up. Uh, creatures, animals. Technically, they all use this. So, uh, the mounts get... Uh, oh, they're the lizard mounts, so they get the bite attack. Boom. Okay. And then... These soldiers get their two attacks, bows, but they're also going to use their spears as well because there's on the ground they have to fight them. Uh, and all of those are technically hits. Huzzah, hooray. Let's do a quick little bit of math here because the only way I found to be exact. Oh, yeah. Another hefty hefty group of them have fallen um so a raid on the ground now are probably about um probably about 50 60 or so dead harpies um along with you know quite a few men as well that are dead um and so your onslaught appears to be tearing them down much quicker than they are tearing you down but they're also harpies not really meant to fight things in the face yeah, they're just harpies. Um, exactly. Uh, Arkady, you burst out of the gate with Farron. You see him pff, cast his fairy fire at all of them. What are you going to do? So, uh, have we caught up with Morella yet? Have we spotted her? Or Yeah, you you see Morella probably perhaps, you know, 30 paces in front of you. As she's taking shots at things. Yeah, okay. she's shooting with her bow as she's running. Uh, with Theron having lit up the harpy swarm, is there anything that I might notice distinct in there? Like, Ooh. are they all just indifferent, uh, undifferentiated harpies, or uh, is it possible they have a commander or any other creatures with them? Roll me a perception check. Thrilling. You know, you, you probably have inspiration. I do, which I will use. <laughs> I, f I feel like I need to remind Liam that he has inspiration. Look at that. Look at that worth right there. Um, so there are... Uh, you see harpies, mostly, and I don't know if you've ever encountered harpies before as a character, but um, they're nasty, kind of vaguely... Um, you know, vaguely humanoid shaped with these big feathery wings, but they have kind of like a thick, like leathery hide almost. Um, right. Really nasty claws and talons, and uh, they have these big clubs. Um, in their mix, though, 
you do not see anything that is like distinctively different. Um, also, you notice that their uh, their flying patterns are fairly erratic. They're not like moving in formations or like swooping down one by one. In fact, you probably with that with a thirteen, you probably see like a couple of them like maybe collide trying to avoid things in midair. Um, they don't appear very well organized. Interesting. Okay. Well, they're already lit up, so there's not much he can do to aid with that, I think. So the question is, what is this distracting us from? Uh, was the perception check my action? No, 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 no absolutely not. Okay, cool. Uh, got an army outside to the north to make us nervous to start with. Got harpies suddenly ambushing us. There, there has to be a third part to this plan. And I have no idea which direction it's going to come from. Uh, I think... Arkady is going to keep moving towards the um, towards the wall, hoping that he can intercept information from the scouts when that starts coming back in. Okay, so you want to move towards like the northerly wall, or just like up on the wall, so you can have a better vantage point to see when scouts start to come in to get more information. Is that kind of? We've already got people on all parts of the walls, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so unlikely to be ambushed like that. So I guess northern, yeah. Okay. So yeah, so uh, to get over there, you might have to dash, but you can yeah. obviously get over there. Um, but do you want to like take a shot as you leave, or you want to just like make your way over there as quickly as possible? Uh, he'll make his way over as quickly as possible, but he will, I think. Uh, hmm. See, I'm trying to think of what how to, what to use the advantage on the tactical advice because I feel like. At the very least, he will call out to Farad and Morella to keep watching for sort of the third prong of whatever this strike is. Sure, sure. Make them more attentive to it. Okay. That'll do. Okay, fantastic. Um, Aelin. You can make it over to, like, the tents where all of the common folk are. Um, and it's kind of a disaster area, right? Like, people were caught probably taking their evening meals. Um. Yeah, so I think that Aelin just steps in and anybody who is obviously immediately in danger on her first cursory glance, I think that she would, uh, if necessary, use uh, her jewel to blind or disorient any harpies who are on a death path towards any of the civilians. Sure. Um, and then, you know, just start directing people indoors uh, as best she can. Yeah, I think that you're far enough removed from the the onslaught right now that it's not a huge issue, but once the Hardys begin to, like, disperse throughout the tents, <coughs> then there might be some issues. But for now, you have, like, a moment to address the concern of getting people to safety. Okay. Um, so so yeah, what's, the be what's the best method you want to use? Is there, is there, like, an action you want to take to speed that up, or... Yeah, so I know this spell is specifically for if they are actually mechanically charmed or frightened, uh -huh. but do you think that we could narratively say that I use my calm emotions to quell the chaos amongst them? I and absolutely them to to think that we can do that. Okay. So I think that, that is a fantastic use of calm emotions. Cool, yeah, so you... Um, that's like a, a group, like a radius around you, right? Or is it like just like a group of yeah, like it's, thirty uh, foot sphere? Okay, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, uh, I think it's 60. oh no, I can make it. Yeah, it's a radius thing, isn't it? So yeah, so you can cast it up to sixty feet away, but it is a thirty foot sphere. Got it. Um, yeah. So largest group of people I see. Also, <laughs> yeah, it's a and sphere and like sphere or radius. Um, actually, it's probably thirty foot radius to be honest. So. That's usually how it's measured. It's usually measured from yeah. center to outward um, side. So it actually is 60 feet in diameter. Um, 
Yeah, and another thing you could do is, like, you can cast it, like, around you. Does this have a visual effect? Or is it simply just, like, an, uh, a, a feeling that emanates from you? Or from whatever point you cast it on? I think it's almost, like, a clarity that... So you, you can't really... I don't, it, there's no visual effect. But I think that um, it causes the people who come into contact with it to have a feeling of mental clarity, but also a, like, particular focus on its point which is Aelin. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, so, so then my like, next so question like is magnetism, like magnetism if you right, will. Sure. Does that make sense? Are you going to find like a secure spot and then cast it on your like on your centered on you so that people that you bring to you are then calmed like like basically like find a secure area and do this at? Yes. Um so I'm like collecting people as I go and then I would cast this. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like you, you know sense? follow me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> kind once of like you a Pied Piper type situation. Well, right. But... <laughs> once you get them somewhere safe and they trust you, they know who you are, you know, you're you're an I, I think I've gained their trust at this point at least. Absolutely. Um and so yeah, you bring them maybe you bring them um like into one of the outlying buildings outside of the walls, right? Like maybe you find yeah, like a large to get them as far from um, the maybe you find like a large like uh like a f uh, barn area right like maybe you find like a large um like storage area of some sort where you can get some people in and then cast it around you to kind of keep them all calm inside of there is that something that sounds good That's cool yeah absolutely excellent so we have we have our, our savior over there uh so the harpies are going to begin spreading among the ranks and causing all kinds of mischief, I think. Uh, and then we get a claw and we get a club. Um, so the harpies are not not being super effective at what they're trying to do. Or maybe they are, Whoa, I don't know. Good That's up to uh, <laughs> it's up to Arcadi to figure out, right? <laughs> um, but they are at the very least um Dealing more casualties than they than they were before against the knights. Some of the men are beginning to fall. Um, some of the horses are also beginning to to get like kind of torn apart and scratched up and broken legs and you know. Um, but overall, the battle is swinging in in the favor of the the good guys in this instance. Um, Noct. Noct is just gonna. Keep on running. He's having fun. He's making a game out of it. Wow. Um, yeah. So unfortunately for a PC, a miss is actually a miss. Um, oh, no. They aren't fairy-fired. Oh, they are fairy-fired. Correct. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to let that go for yeah. two rounds. Uh, apologies. You do uh, yeah. make contact with some more. And, um, yeah, so it's one of those things that, like, uh, knocked, like wouldn't be able to see him except for the fairy fire that reveals them and begins chomping away at their lives quite effectively mm -hmm. good job knocked Hannibal yo so I get there uh yeah alright I'm gonna cast this at a big group of them that I see yeah sleep them up nice 60 um so it works on quite a few of them because uh, quite a few of them are injured but not dead. Because, um, again, damage is much more... Uh, skewed. He, well, yeah, I don't think skewed is the word, but much more uh, abstracted in this form of combat. Um, so, yeah, you see, like, maybe, maybe 10 or 20 of them maybe, like, you know, kind of like, are flying or, like, the ones that are, like, for sure the ones that are, like, on the ground, like, limping or whatever... They just, like, pass out where they are, causing many of them to go to sleep. Um, and probably uh, because of the way that spell works, um, you probably see the men um, descend quite quickly upon them and begin killing them. I'm actually going to deal some damage to them because the men will be able to, like, kill them while they're sleeping before they can wake up as they mm -hmm. s trample all over them. So, yeah. yeah. I also was kind of thinking it was, like, the ones that are really high up in the air might die upon impact of the ground. Yeah, absolutely. That is probably a thing that... It, like, it, maybe they impact the ground and, like, break a leg and then they, you know, get trampled on or whatever. So, yeah, mm -hmm. no, absolutely. That was quite effective, in fact. Anything else from Hannibal? Um, can he attempt to rally the troops a little bit? 
sure, you want to, like, uh, like, use your charisma in some way to help to rally them? Yeah. Sure, roll Kill them. them. Kill them while they're down. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to make this, like, a mechanical thing? Like, roll a check for it? or Sure, just... let's roll a check. What yeah, should I roll? Yeah, roll a manipulation check. Alright. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, they... they. I think maybe some of the men who have been, like, dehorsed, right? Because you're on foot. So I think that some of the men that have been... Um, that have been uh, dismounted, they kind of start to rally around you, and now you have this, like, little little group of, of foot soldiers to help protect you and stuff. Fight for the new age! Yeah, I like it. Holy shit. Sorry. I just got really excited. Uber Eats just sent me an email that uh, I get free delivery on all my orders until April 30th, 2017. So, I mean, that's cool. The future. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway. Baron McKibe. Um, your fairy fire is beginning to wear off at this point. Um, so, like, re recasting it is a thing that could happen um, and be just as effective. Wasn't that only one turn? I let it go for two. What? But it's only been one turn. R right, but remember, right. these uh, these rounds are not six seconds. Yeah. These rounds so, like, count minutes. as, like, minutes... Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Um, and the reason for that is because we're talking about hundreds of people fighting at the same time and kind of the jostling sure, of ranks. All right, well, that's uh, Legolas. Pew, pew. Yeah, absolutely. You begin picking them out of the sky quite effectively. Oop, that's not how much I want to delete. Okay. They're looking quite injured now. Uh, anything else for Farron? Um, I mean, I've got four, so let's give uh, Morella a uh, little pep talk. Stop running out like a headless chicken. <laughs> Spy that bitch. Right. So, here's a question that I have for you, Jordan. Yes. Um, one, could I use my fight my fighting style protection, the reaction one, to save an individual whenever it's not my turn? I think you've said yes to this before. Yeah, Just absolutely. want to make sure. Okay. Seems great. I'll probably start doing that then. Now that you're up in the thick of it, yeah, absolutely. That's the thing you can yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I suppose then I'll just pull out my spear at this point. Okay. And uh, start stabbing away. So, here we go. Pew. Oh my god, is that actually a crit? It is. <laughs> Fantastic. I haven't gotten a crit in so fucking long to come back. I'm actually going to roll something here. So, you strike these creatures, uh -huh. and um, you can feel the spear in your hand begin to vibrate, and when you make contact with one, you feel kind of like this, this charge run through it. Um, you don't see anything physically, but something happens, and you see like more around them kind of struck or stricken, almost with like paralysis, and they begin to topple and... and take more damage than you were anticipating. Huh. Alright. Uh, and that happens throughout the fight. Okay. So. Then, I suppose. Could I make a manipulation check to rally the men around me? To sure. fight harder? Sure. Absolutely. Alright, let's do that. Because, you know, totally great at these. So, uh, gonna roll that. If I remember correctly, in the last battle, you did really well. I did. Yeah, so you got a 10. Um, 
So more people will go stand beside Hannibal than you, <laughs> but uh, you are successful in at least getting some of the foot soldiers around you to help yeah. assist with the battle. Okay. This is to be expected. I'm much more charming than Morella. Somehow. Well, never mind. That actually makes sense. Uh, Cree, it's your turn. All right. Um, can I see if the other army is starting to come, or is it still just the Harpies? Remember, they are, like, miles away. Okay, so even if they are, it's it's still going to be a little bit. Yeah, totally. And they encamped. Right, yeah, they're encamped. But I don't know that. Uh, oh, true. yeah, that's true. Good point. You don't even know there's um, an army. <laughs> yeah. Also true, good point. Maybe you expect this is what you were they were blowing the horns for, right? Well, no, I, I saw them coming over, remember? That's why I was on top of the wall. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm I'm just gonna take my lance and say By Chotex light, strike and uh yeah. And not. Yeah, and as you strike, you see the the piercing light that lances out of the uh, the end of the the lance, striking another creature and bringing it down, and knocked crushes its head with his tail when it falls to the ground. Good splat. Very good. All right, let's see how well these guys do. Bow and spear, and their mounts. Not bad. Actually, it's actually really bad. Jeez, those are really low rolls. Uh, for damage, at least. Uh, I hit divide instead of... Oof. They take a hefty blow. More of... More and more of them are, f and them are falling with each round. Um, so, that brings me to Arkadi. Arkadi. I would like you... Again, I wish there was a... Roll me a perception check, please. Hmm. That halfling luck saved you, though, from a one. Yep. Oh, wait, how did you fucking do that? Uh, do I what? think you can edit the sheets. Yeah, you can edit. You can add the sheets to automatically roll it. Yeah, that's just a, a switch on the last page. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. So. Uh. You hear movement, or I should say, you see movement. Um, from like along the, the edge of the walls but on the inside uh, you see movement running back and forth you, you suspect it is probably more guardsmen like coming up to the walls and waking up and stuff like that um, and uh, you hear some shouting there's some people who still don't know what the heck is going on and there's a lot of commotion and, um, and, and a great din begins to arise from the from the, the like the village itself and all the villagers there and everybody there is like waking up to this, um, and so it's starting to become a little bit chaotic down in there as well. Um, you can see a lot of the priests and priestesses are like hu uh, huddling a lot of people into the um, into the hospital that they've set up. Uh, so yeah, right. Okay. Uh, well, bringing order to chaos is something he's decently decent at as a diplomat, so uh, Arkady may try to wade into that commotion and try to direct people um, okay. sort, of, sort of through the crowds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so do you want to, like, make an action to try and help direct people to yeah. to safer areas? Sure, go ahead. Uh, what'll that be? Um, it'd be a manipulation check. I think is the best way to do it. All right. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great check. Um, so yeah, you're you're able to you know you begin shouting and like waving people on and um, getting people in. Uh, 
and then just just as you do that, um, you see some forms come around a building, um, kind of like walking through and like not really understand what's going on. And you're like, "Hey, come on over here!" And they turn towards you, and the hoods to their cloaks fall back, and you realize what? they are skeletal figures, and they begin to point their bows at you. Uh, good luck with that. Um, so... But I'm I going guess. to reveal them and roll their initiative. In two time. Uh, there we go. And let's roll their initiative. Uh, what are they? They're undead, right? Undead. And you said that it was like priests and clerics who were already trying. Yeah, to Yeah, so do it's their all it's all the members people. of the hospital. So conveniently, right. So yeah, so, the, luckily you have some some help with that. Yeah, bonus action. Uh, Arcadi will use his tactician to uh, shout positions and uh, directions out to okay. The, various assembled clergy letting them know there are undead over there get to smiting absolutely jesus they were really high cool. well wow they are going to get the jump on some of you <laughs> uh let's see let's see what the um what the clergy roll i will uh do i have a clergy token i thought i did let's look up a clergy token you mean why is it it's clergy? C clergy. Clergy. I mean, you can. Let's like be charge. real here. You you can always use um, Marcus's token. You mean this token? <laughs> <laughs> this one right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, look! There's the clergy. Oh yeah, that was one of his tokens. Huh? Uh, oh, lame token. <laughs> It's so gross. It's perfect. L it's gross. No P. That's what's clergy. Clergy. Uh, and let's see how well they I'm, roll. I'm actually as confused as you on this one, Jackson. <laughs> no, I know for a fucking fact. I've literally <laughs> never heard clergy before. Uh, <laughs> to reach their own. No, it's just wrong. Look, if I corrected everyone who misspoke in this game, it'd still be like level eight. <laughs> True. Level four. Z Come on. Saying that stupid way would be like pronouncing Ocean Okean. Okay. Aelin, it's your turn. Um, yeah. So I guess. Uh, once everybody's safe in the barn, it's basically what I am picturing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I would obviously assess if there's anybody who needed medical assistance. Is that true? Um, probably not immediately. Right now, uh, maybe somebody like tripped and scraped their knee as they were running. Okay, but nothing, uh, uh, you know, severe. Yeah, that's all going to be kind of out on the battlefield for now. Sure. Good. Um, so I think that um, once everybody was kind of settled and given instructions, um, I think that uh, Elin would exit the barn, just herself, just tell Daniela to stay with them for just a moment, um, and uh, take a look around. Since she is on the outskirts, she is afraid that more is coming or in some other direction and mm -hmm. uh hopefully that since being removed from the main fighting maybe it would give her a better uh or more clear view of, of the battlefield what's going on okay so uh roll me a perception check so you can you take a moment you breathe deeply and then you observe around you I see everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna give you a little bit of an advantage on that one. So, Aylin, what do your angel see? 
Um, My angel eyes. <laughs> so you you gaze kind of like to the town and you see everything appears to be going fine. You see the battlefield that is raging. There's tents that are on fire now from like toppled, like trampled campsites and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a, there's a bit of light kind of coming from there. And you gaze around and you can see uh, that there appears to be a mass of... Um, uh, I wouldn't even call it a mass. There's maybe like... 20 to 30 like figures like moving through the tents um like towards the battlefield and as you kind of observe it um with your 25 you realize that the creatures are not humans they appear to be skeleton warriors draped in like heavy cloth to as to conceal their form uh and they appear to be moving directly towards the battlefield uh and as well, you see that th once you identify like what that looks like, you see scattered kind of throughout other portions of the battlefield, and also heading in your direction, these groups of of uh, enemies from farther off, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Great, great. Coming from <laughs> coming from most directions. <laughs> most all directions. Lovely. Uh, okay, so I think that uh, Aelin's immediate thought is, uh, even though how in vain it may be, um, I think she takes out, uh, sh rummages through her pocket really quickly, trying to maintain her composure. Um, yeah, I'm getting there. Hold on. <laughs> um, and um, pulls out her handy dandy dove. Yeah. And as quickly as she can, and as briefly as she can, because obviously she knows that he's kind of busy. Um, she just says, you know, undead from the this this and this location coming from, but like just the basic like rundown as quickly as she can. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever fits send, in 25 words. Yeah, whatever, whatever fits in 25 words, yeah, that is the totally. most concise that she thinks he needs to know. Yep. <clears throat> um, uh, you don't yeah, even need a think, familiar. Right? And then I think that I just run back inside to uh, tell Daniela uh, um, what I see. Yeah, so you run back inside, uh, and what is your... How's your composure? Oh, the second? So I'm outside the doors, right? Yeah. And I'm clearly distraught um i think the second she opens back up the door her calm cool collected you know composure comes back up and she just like you know with purpose but not running or anything you know walks forward and immediately tries to spy daniela to pull her uh, aside away from the people yeah daniela's probably literally right anyone. inside the door <laughs> yeah of course she is yeah <laughs> yeah so completely composed i just whisper to daniela like Step out for a moment. Yeah, and she she does so, and you, I'm assuming, point out all of the... Yeah, I, I just point around us. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Um, yeah, and you can see she she's less good at holding her composure. Um, her face pales slightly. Um, and, uh... She looks at you, and this is probably the first time that she's addressed this directly. And so it probably catches you a bit off guard. Um, she says, have you told him? She just kind of pauses a moment, but then realizes, of course, you know, right. And just says, yes, I told him immediately. They are aware. Good. Get inside. And she, like, ushers you back inside the door. Um, and you can see when she closes the barn door, she looks around for a moment and she finds, like, a bar and begins to, like, slide it as discreetly as she can, like, kind of in front. And if anybody asks about it, she's like, oh, it's just so we can be safe, you know, just in case. Just in case they come this way. 
She's yeah, like sliding like, the you bar know, into we just, place. We just don't want to be caught unaware. Right. And then I think that also at that moment as well, if they weren't already, I think Aelin would just very gently start ushering people towards the center of the barn. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, like if anybody was like leaning up against the sides or like obviously towards the back where she can't immediately see them, I think she would start, you know, just kind of gent gently ushering people towards the middle. <laughs> Yeah, and once you kind of, like, get everybody settled in there, um, uh, you, you get everybody settled and you're kind of like, you know, you wipe your brow and, you know, you're, you're kind of pacing around, um, you hear a very faint noise, um, and it sounds, sounds something like this. <laughs> Kind of like a rattling, like buzzing sound. Um, you very quickly side, side eye to Danielle. <laughs> she doesn't appear to hear it. It's very, very faint, um, and you quickly identify it as coming from one of your pouches. Coming from where? I'm sorry. One of your pouches. Of course. Um, and after a moment of digging, you realize that the top that you have is spinning rapidly. Good. As if this situation wasn't unsettling enough. <laughs> Damn it, we knew she was a vampire! <laughs> um, oh, Miss Vampire. So, yes. We move on to the raging chaos outside. Um, the harpies have begun to spread out, and are kind of assailing more of the tents and stuff. Um, for those of you that are on the field, it still appears like they're attacking you. Uh, but it kind of looks like maybe they're like trying to cause structural damage as well. Um, and generally being annoying. But they're still going to attack with enough force to make the appropriate attacks. Um, so, we have a claw and a club. Uh, did the, the club did not roll club please oh i might be turning into a robot you are yep hold up 